the dreaded five minute video out. Uh, so, if I take it up, the 28 squared is 784, and I've got a sine alpha cos alpha, and then if I take the 4.9 up there, that's going to give me 313.6. Randomly, if I do 313.6 divided by 784, that's the same as 2 fifths. Now, nicely works out, doesn't it? But I know that sine 2 alpha is 2 sine alpha cos alpha. So a half of sine alpha, sine 2 alpha, is sine alpha cos alpha. And I'm going to use that, and I'm going to replace this here. So that's a half sine 2 alpha is two fifths. So sine two alpha is four over five. So two alpha, the first two values for that will be 53.13 and 126.87. From you know just doing inverse sine and then doing 360 uh, one eight to take away. So alpha will be 26.6 degrees or 63.4 degrees. So I've used to found the times because the times are the same. Um, I put them equal to each other and solved it that way. It's quite sneaky, isn't it? G was minus 9.8, so I went two sig figure here, don't I? So 27 degrees, 63 degrees. There you go, that one's done. It's interesting how they've used the time for both. There's a question for you. Boing. Which is a little bit different. It's about getting over a wall. Because <laughs> it could be. So it says like uh, two possible angles to get over the wall. <laughs> right, then after that is some exam questions. So well done everybody. Bye bye.